let us solve this rational equation. So I'm just going to recopy this, but I'm going to factor as I go. So x squared plus 4x plus 3, I'm sure that's going to factor. Uh, x squared is x times x. 3 is 3 times 1. And then uh, on this next one, I see we have a common factor of 2. So I'm just going to pull out that 2, and that will leave x plus 1. All right, now in factored form, um, if I want to make these denominators be the same, it's easier for me to see what needs what. Now, for example, the uh, first denominator needs a 2, which this one has. So I'm going to put a 2 in the front, which is OK as long as I multiply the numerator by 2 as well. OK, um, now in the next denominator, it has a 2 and an x plus 1, but it doesn't have an x plus 3. So I'm going to put an x plus 3 in the numerator and the denominator. Now, the third one has an x plus 3, but it doesn't have a 2, and it does not have an x plus 1. All right, at this point, we don't need the 1 anymore. Okay, so now all of the denominators are the same. Um, once all the denominators are the same, you can just go ahead and set all the numerators equal to each other and uh, disregard the denominators. All right, so if I ignore the denominators, then see here, 2 times 2 is 4. So I have 4 plus x plus 3 is equal to, and I'm going to go ahead and do the distributive property here. So that'll be 2x plus 2. All right, ignoring the denominators, this is what I have. Um, so combining like terms, so I've got my x, but I've got my 4 and my 3, so that's plus 7 is equal to 2x plus 2. All right, subtracting x from both sides gives me 7 is equal to x plus 2. Subtracting 2 from both sides gives me x is equal to 5. So that should be the answer. All right, so that's why the answer is D.